What are you doing out here? I was so worried about you. Jufus told me terrible things. He said... You've turned into a shill tuber. That you... killed younglings. <laughs> I am more powerful than Jay's two cents. I, I can overthrow him. I don't believe what I'm hearing. Jufus was right. You've changed. I don't want to hear any more about frame chasers. You're going down a path I can't follow. Because of Jufus. Because of what you've done. What you plan to do. You will not make fun of me! Your anger and your lust for power have already done that. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Only an AMD fanboy deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. It's over, Steve! I have the high ground! You underestimate my- Arrogance. Woo-wee! I love me a good old-fashioned nerd off. Our good friend Steve here at Denial Unboxed is tripling down on his data. Now this video was brought to you by the comment section. I don't know the guy's name, but he said, Hey Jufus, hey Jufus, why don't you provide real data instead of just talk? Gladly. Now instead of defending his position with integrity and data, he chose anger, denial, name calling, insults, slander, condescension, crying. Is this how 40 year old tech tubers conduct themselves? I mean, I've encountered XOC nerds and AMD fanboys, but I think we've hit the peak, the king of denial. We're there now. Now, jokes aside, let's get down to it. I do feel sorry for you if you're a Hardware Unboxed viewer and you have put your trust into that man because he is basically lighting your money on fire. So his argument is now, I mean, it seems to change on an hourly basis, but now it is DDR5 will offer a better upgrade path. Now, we're going to see if that's true with real data because I got a 12100 too. <laughs> For what the a great address. honor to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere. So the goal of this video is we're going to assume that the viewer here doesn't know anything about PCs. We're just going to assume they're XMPers only, okay? Now we're also going to assume they're more of a budget buyer where they only have maybe $350 and that has to include the CPU, motherboard, and RAM. Now you have two choices. Do you go DDR4 right now? Or do you go DDR5 right now in the hopes of future-proofing yourself for later? Now I'm going to show you why even buying DDR4 right now is actually more future-proof than DDR5. Let that sink in for a second. Again, if you are here from the Hardware Unbox channel, I am sorry that the guy you put trust in chose to value his own pride and denial over the well-being of his audience. I'm sorry that that happened to you. That shouldn't happen. That should never happen. That is not okay. So in order to prove my position, the position of logic and data and money, numbers, numbers never lie. You can't bullshit your way out of numbers, okay? Here's what we're going to do. We are going to use a 12100 CPU. We are going to benchmark it with 3600 C14 memory that costs $80. We're going to benchmark it in XMP. We're going to benchmark it tuned. We're going to leave it single rank. And then we're going to benchmark DDR5. We're going to benchmark it at 4800, 6400 and 6800 with a maximum tune on a 12100 benchmarking with a 3090 Ti. You know what the ridiculous thing is about this whole thing? If you have a 3060 or a 3060 Ti, like any normal 12100 buyer, this entire video is pointless anyway, but 
We got to do it. We got to do it. And you know what? My 12100 actually does 3733 in gear one. But I am purposely leaving that out of the video because I know that if I post those numbers, he will use that to go further into the denial path. I'm not leaving any room for doubt in this video. Zero room. So we're going to go over benchmarks. We're going to go over a pricing spreadsheet. And then we're going to go over some dates. All right. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get to the facts. Okay, we're just quickly going to go over these uh, graphs here. The graphs themselves aren't, aren't too impressive. There's barely any variance between these. It's the percentages at the end that we want to focus on, right? But if, feel free to pause the video if any of these games in particular interest you, right? I tried to use all the same, well, as many of the same games as I could for Hardware Unbox, and I used them at the same settings that he did. The only game I left out was the ones that I didn't own and Spider-Man because benchmarking a 12100 with a 3090 Ti with ray tracing on in Spider-Man is disingenuous at best. That's no, no. If you're if you're on a 12100, you ain't you ain't ray tracing. The only reason that was there was to make DDR5 look better than DDR4. Actually, most of these games are like that. Now, you'll see that in most of these titles, there's barely any variance at all when you actually run them XMP versus XMP. The 6800 C32 is not actually achievable without a $500 motherboard. But I threw that in there just for the people that wanted to see what a maxed out 11 or uh, sorry, 12100 would actually look like. Now, when we actually get to the nine game average here, I'm going to show you just how little of a difference there is between memory subsystems on this CPU. It is a four core CPU at 4.1 gigahertz at the end of the day. Okay, now the meat and potatoes of the entire argument. This is the nine game average. We have the 4800 C40 as the baseline at 100%. You go up to 6,432 XMP, you get a 10% boost. Or on the flip side, you could go 3,600 C14 for a 5% boost. This RAM costs $80. This RAM costs currently right now around $300. Now, oops, now. The argument is, well, you can tune it. We're not gonna, we're not gonna include the tuned numbers here because we're gonna assume you are an XMP style of gamer where you don't, we don't want to bother with all this BIOS shit, okay? So we're gonna get this number out of here, right? And this one, this one you cannot do because you're not gonna be spending a five hundred dollar motherboard. So the delta right now is five percent. This is plus five percent, right? for $220 more right now. Now the argument is one day this memory will be cheaper. So why wouldn't you get this one now so you can buy this one later and put it on? Well, I'll explain why. Just a quick PSA here, even getting 6400 to work on a cheapo 4 dim motherboard is probably not gonna happen, but we're gonna give Steve the benefit of the doubt here and assume he didn't know that. You'll probably get around 6,200. Now, the starting point for both of these platforms is the same. You have $350 to begin your build. Now, with your $350, you get the same motherboard on both platforms, just DDR4 and DDR5 variants. You get the same CPU. The only difference is the memory and the upgrade path. So what Steve is saying is one day you could buy 6400 C32 and you can get that extra 5% performance over top of the 3600 stick. Then we're going to assume a one year, two year, three year time skip, right? Maybe in two or three years, that memory kit, that 6400 kit might be 200 dollars hundred dollar price drop is not out of the realm of possibility now when you spend this two hundred dollars on the ddr5 side of the equation you have to throw out the money that you already spent 
right? Now, what can you do with the $200 on the DDR4 side? Now, the first thought that comes to mind is why don't you just buy two more Vipers and get dual rank? See, this is the curveball. What if you bought a 12,600K instead? These are already $250 on eBay. They will be 200 or less in less than a year. Now, what happens when you buy a 12600K as your upgrade option? You get eight more megabytes of cash. What else happens? You get two more cores, okay? What else happens? Your system agent voltage now becomes unlocked. This 3600 C14 Viper now turns into 4000 C16 for free now what happens if you buy a 12 600k and you put it on this platform nothing absolutely nothing you need to learn memory tuning if you want to get this faster this does not have a faster xmp the vipers do have a faster xmp so if you take steve's advice and you spend 200 dollars on ddr5 6400 and this guy over here buys a 12600k the guy on the left including the cpu the free memory bandwidth upgrade only using xmps no tuning whatsoever has an over 75 percent speed increase 75 percent for the same money as what steve wanted you to buy you would have to be out of your J2 said. mind to recommend somebody to go DDR5 right now and then upgrade that again later over another CPU, which would end up being faster. What? Anyway, guys, I think I've gone on long enough here. The play is you buy your 12100, you buy your cheap motherboard, you buy your Vipers, you can upgrade to four Vipers later, you can upgrade to a second-hand 12600K later, and you will be faster than DDR5 will ever go on that platform. And Steve, if you do watch this video, which I'm sure you will, because you're the same as an AMD fanboy, you're just a moth to the flame, okay? I think you're a piece of shit, dude. You did your audience dirty. There's, there's four or five other tech tubers all telling you that you did your audience dirty and you still won't admit it, and you still won't apologize to them. You don't have to apologize to me. I don't give a shit about your opinion, but you did real working class people dirty. Shame on you.